Hello everyone, this is Chetan Mehta from Skillcubator and today's session is all about setting up your Jira and Confluence tools. So in my training sessions on YouTube channel and on my blog post and emails, I get this question a lot saying how to set up Jira, how to use Jira or how to get going on these tools. And it seems many people think it's a very difficult tool or difficult set of tools, but in fact, they are very easy tools to use and you can get going in literally within 10 minutes. So I thought of creating this short video and hopefully you should be able to use these tools after watching this video. So before I go to Jira and Confluence, let me tell you what exactly is Jira and Confluence or why do we need these tools? So Jira is a project management software and mainly used in Agile environment to track issues, to manage the flow of work within the project teams. So basically it's a project management software used mainly in Agile environment. Whether it's a Scrum, Kanban or any other Agile framework, you will see this tool in use. Confluence, on the other hand, is a wiki page tool which helps you build your pages to store, maintain, share, and archive your project-related documentation. So whether it's a project management-related documents, requirements documents, design documents, testing artifacts, or an architecture-related documents, or whether it's a release calendar, meeting minutes, models, vacation calendar, anything, you can define your pages or they have templates, you can just select those templates and add the content to it and you can share it with the project team. So that's basically the Jira and Confluence. So now let's go to the tool itself and see how to set up. So I'm on Ecclesian.com which is the company which owns these tools. If you click on the products, you will see different products and you have, I mean, they have a lot more products, but we are interested in Jira right now. So we'll click here and you will see there are different buttons. Basically, these are the trial version. This is a trial version. So try free, click anywhere. I'll click here because it will take me straight to the page I'm looking for. I'll click here. And now I see there are different options. The first one is the Jira software itself. It's a standalone software. I don't have anything else. I don't have Confluence. I don't want that. I want Jira plus Confluence. So use the second option. So you'll see Jira plus documentation, which is the Confluence piece of it. So go with this option. And also you can see here that you can use this tool or this instance of this tool for seven days without any commitment, after which it will ask you for the payment. So click here or anywhere. So it will bring you to this page where you will have to enter your details, claim the site and the next step is you will see the tool itself, your landing page. But before that, we need to complete this step. There's a crucial step where you have to enter your site name, your first name, last name, your email ID and the password. So now I was playing around with this tool before the session, before the recording. So I already have this email ID, but let me use or let me enter my uh, site name again and see how it goes. So as you can see here, I've entered the details. I've entered the name of the site, my online shopping site, or you can just use any name. Um, the, the thing is it will validate and make sure that the site name has not been taken before. As long as it's unique, you're good. Enter your first name, last name, your email ID, which you can go back because you will have to verify your email ID. So make sure that you're using your own email ID, which you can go back and click on that link. 
and then set up your password. Click on start now and it might take a couple of seconds before you go to the next step. So there you go, I'll save the password. But it's telling you to go to your inbox and verify your email ID. So I need to go to my email ID and do that. So it's right here. I got an email from Atlassian. It's telling me to verify. Go to this option. Click on verify email ID. And there you go. So this might take a one or two minutes. So that step is complete. My site is set up. Now it's asking me to select the language. I'll go with the default one, which is English, unless you want to go with any other language. But since I don't understand any of these, I'll go with English. Of course, English, UK, US, it's the same thing, kind of. I'll go with the default. Here you can select your profile picture. So I can go here and Upload an image. So I'll select this. I selected this picture. Done. Go to the next step. Okay, so basically your profile is set. Your site is set. Now you need to start adding some more content to it. Define your project. So here th there are different options. You can either create a new project, which is what I want to do. Or if you already have a, like a project from a different um, phase or a different uh, time frame, you can import that project, but it has to be from Jira. But, you know, I'll go with an assumption we don't have any project. So select or click this option of creating a new project. Now this is a standard um, screen you will get. Unless you want to kind of change these things, you don't need to. Just click on submit. This is important. You need to give a name to your project. So you can say uh, online shopping portal. Click on create project. There you go. So you have your tool set up. You have your project defined. Of course, it's empty. It's blank but you can start adding your issues from this point onwards. So now there are a couple of more things we can do here. Uh, 
as you can see I have the settings you click on the settings and you have different options one important thing here is and as part of the scope of this session or this um, short video I'd like to add how to invite your team members so imagine you know you have like five different people working on this project so how can you make sure that all of those five people have access to this tool to the project it's pretty simple click here just enter the email IDs of there and that's that's all you need to do so let me go here so I can start adding people here so click on add people okay before that I need to invite them right so I'll click here I will add their email ID and then once I have their email ID you can start adding people so one last thing here if I want to toggle between Jira and Confluence you can select click here and you can see that you have two different applications within the same interface Jira and Confluence so right now I'm in Jira but I can go to Confluence by clicking this option give a name to your space basically everything is space in Confluence so you need to give a name and it will create a space and within that you can create sub pages or sub folders so we are not going to go into detail for this session so once this space is created we will go back to Jira there you go so now I'm in Confluence and I can start adding my pages here so how do I go back to Jira because I'm in Confluence I know I need to go back to Jira so I'll click on this option switch apps click on Jira and you will go back to the Jira you can select your project and see the same interface which we saw before so right now it's blank it's empty but at least you have set up your profile you have set up your Jira confluence you have defined the project and um, hopefully you have added some more team members to your project so that's all for now today uh, hope you like this session and you should be able to use Jira and Confluence at least set up these tools and get going with that so I'll create some more short videos on how to create your backlog how to move stories within sprints how to open a sprint close sprint things like that until then see you and goodbye and for all your training needs please do contact us on 703 2009921. Our email ID is info at skillcubator.com. The website is www.skillcubator.com. Thank you for watching this. Have a nice day. Bye.